Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. We're very happy to have you with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Stevie, um, what's up with the headset and microphone? I was just wondering what it'd be like to be, you know, one of those big sports talk show hosts, you know, rubbing elbows with all the big stars, catching all the action firsthand as you call the games. Man, that would be the life. Well, instead of wondering what it'd be like, why don't we just check in with Chris Blank from the Sports Buzz. Every day when I go on the air at 2, it's, it's an exciting time because you never know. For instance, we're sitting here as we get ready to go on the air and I've planned a whole show. But as soon as we crack the mics, it can take a completely different direction than what I ever thought. Uh, my name is Chris Plank. I do Sidelines for Oklahoma and host the big show from 2 to 6 on The Buzz. I have always loved sports. Uh, from the womb, I think I love sports. I can remember crying at seven because I was put to bed early and I didn't get to watch the 82 Cardinals World Series. And uh, I, I just, this is, I'm doing what I've always wanted to do. So I'm living my dream. And I can remember when I was in fourth grade, I wanted to impress my PE teacher. And so I can remember calling play-by-play -play into a cassette recorder of like a Seahawks Raiders game on Monday night. So uh, this has always been a passion. I went to the University of Tulsa and when I graduated, I had worked in the sports information department. So I had an opportunity to get to know a lot of the sports directors in town and had a pretty good relationship with some of them. Others, you know, you just didn't know yet because I was still young and I was pretty green. And I came here when I graduated from college in 97 and this has been my only job. Uh, I've had a couple of opportunities to go other places, but Tulsa's home and, and I don't really see the desire to do so. And then there's also kind of a part of me that wants to be different because in radio, it's like you've got to consider it like dog years. So you take that I've been here for 16 years and you times that by seven. So I should be ready for retirement uh, any day. But no, this has been my only gig and I've loved it. I've been able to do some cool things. I did a national show on Fox Sports Radio. Uh, I've been doing the sidelines for OU, did a lot of work for my alma mater, so there's a lot of different opportunities. Just because you're in Tulsa doesn't mean you're, you're trapped. You can do a lot of different things, and I've, and I've been the beneficiary of that. You know, I'm, I've, I consider myself the second wheel. You know, Jeremy Poplin, Pop's the star of this thing, man. His, his anger sustains us. So if you want to try to pigeonhole us, uh, Jeremy's kind of one of those guys that uh, is about the nicest person on the planet and one of the most talented guys, but he's also the show cynic. You know, he's, uh, he's not afraid to, to hate everything. Uh, I'm a little bit more of a glass half full kind of guy on everything. <laughs> well, I don't know if I would necessarily class myself as the angry guy. I guess I would be more of uh, the realist on the show. Plank is sort of the, the fence rider. He gets a lot of grief for, for always riding that fence. If I have a, a point or a take, I'm gonna make sure I always stick with that. You have to come to me and really try to convince me. You better have some pretty good evidence to be able to change my opinion. So I just like to kind of be that, that hard edge, straight line guy that always never wants to waver off of what I actually believe in. I have been here now, let me think for a minute. I know it's too long. Um, I believe I started in 2001 as a board op. My first event that I ever ran was actually, I believe, the Pepsi 400 from Daytona Speedway during the middle of the summer. And it took me, I think, about a year and a half, two years to get to where I was full time. And then uh, we went through some staff changes. I mean, we went from like nine on staff to two. And ever since about 2003, 2004, I've been doing the uh, afternoon show with Chris. Uh, the first day, I have to admit, it was a little intimidating because Chris is someone that I've always looked up to in radio, and I'm, I'm being dead honest about that. I look at what Chris brings to the table, and I wish that I could, I could be more like Chris as far as my gift of gab. Chris does an amazing job with interviews. If anyone ever wants to truly learn how to be a great interviewer, I would suggest listening to Chris. I, I think it took us probably about a year to get good chemistry down. Now. Honestly, I mean, if we had to, we could roll in and do a show with zero prep if we had to, just because we're so comfortable with each other and we know which angles that each guy's gonna take. And I pretty much have a good feeling with what Chris is gonna say even before it comes out of his mouth. It's a fun show, it's, a, it's an interactive show, it's a guest-laden show, and it's really, it's a show that is kind of a guy's show, kind of a general talk show that's, that's on a sports station. It's kind of got the guise of sports over it. So it's fun. It, it truly 
I, I feel like that it's entertaining and whenever I'm not on the air, when I'm on vacation or something, I realize how long that four hours is. When I'm in here, it's like, it's already over. So it's, it's, a, it's a blast.